Loading. Welcome to Access the Animus. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on Access the Animus. Today we continue exploring more mysteries from Assassin's Creed Valhalla by having a look at the so-called Pig of Prophecy. Yeah, it's that weird, maybe even more. The Pig of Prophecy is an actual pig that can be found in the Kent region and that provides Eivor and the player with several cryptic messages, following a sort of tradition introduced in Assassin's Creed Origins. In the video we're going to showcase all the 20 and more cryptic prophecies and we'll try and interpret some of them before drawing some comparisons with the similar prophecies that appeared in Origins. If you enjoyed the video please consider liking it, subscribing to our channel and turning the notifications on so you won't miss any of our future updates. And with that out of the way, let's dive into the cryptic predictions by the Pick of Prophecy in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, for those of you who might not know, yes, there is an actual pig that pronounces prophecies in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And to be honest, that's not even the weirdest thing in a game. The pig, who also obviously has a dedicated name, Matilda the Seer, is located in Canterbury and is part of a namesake ward event where you just need to drink from a specific barrel and talk to her in order to complete it, at least when it's not bugged. After completing it, though, you can proceed with your viking adventures or, if you are like us, you can keep drinking and talking to the pig. Because of course. In this case we were lucky, because the pig provides 20 something very cryptic statements that may seem like ramblings, but very likely aren't, as there have been other characters in other games of the franchise pronouncing some similar and also cryptic prophecies. But before we get into that, let's have a look at what Matilda the Seer has to say. Who is that man talking to? Matilda. Pig sees the future. Loki's twisted threats. What trick is this? None. You drink, pig speaks. I, uh, I don't feel anything. Are you a talking pig? I, Matilda the Seer, lift the veil. Shall I show you what is to come, Raven? River Swan. The gloved hand does hold the clever boy. He weaves his words, a meter measured. What are you saying? The red... White and red war. Thirty years the sons of the licentious lion tear at the earth and sod. Shame on him who thinks ill of it. Whatever was in that brew, it was powerful and mind-twisting. Spin, deathly Jenny, dance and prowl. <laughs> Weave through the bar lambs as they howl. Chop the wood, grind the corn. <coughs> They'll lie in ashes before the morn. Smack your lips, for you shall be the king's suckling sauce. <laughs> he who has the mercy of God. Laws will bind him in scarlet ribbons, sap his strength. But they give his people voice. Who are you? A seeker? A wanderer? A killer? Woman or man? <sighs> you wear a magician's cloak and speak to ravens. <coughs> Gods will rise and kings will fall, but never will the black birds sprawl. <coughs> Beneath the sacred city where panthers prowl, he will find what stole the maiden's blush and begin the final journey. Men of the church, father. Serpent's tongue sets torches alight in the winter night, <sighs> seeking to end the first of the line. He cuts down the stalks, waving wild under a gibbous moon. <sighs> 
But Christ's army will follow poor soldier to the sands and back. Swarthy he comes, eternal yonder sea. Strike his sword in the land. Betrayal burns your blood, Raven Feeder. Brother against brother till wolves devour the sky. The rooster taunts the hen. Knock knock, says he all quiver. I'll steal your chicks and sling a feather in your eye. <coughs> Trapped in the weird, bound for glory. What will he give for its tarnished hue? Who will die? <coughs> He's bound in sleep thought. Free him! <coughs> Free him! One, three, dot, zero. <coughs> dot, zero, dot, zero, dot, zero, dot. <coughs> the cat is in the well. Let us ring now for her knell. Wee, wee! Ding dong, ding dong bell. <coughs> wee! In water, iron then shall float. As easy as a wooden boat. Iron? Uh, what madness do you spoke, devil? One leg. <gasps> Who will lose it? Her or me? What? What are you saying? The red sparrow will settle in the cuckoo's nest? <laughs> so, yes, like we said, a lot of this can seem just like random ramblings, but they're not. Some of these sentences, in fact, can be actually interpreted. Like, for example, the one about betrayal, brothers and wolves devouring the sky is a direct reference to Avers and Odin's story, with the wolf mention being a direct reference to Fenrir. Another example is the prophecy about you being the king's suckling sauce, which might be a reference to how Eivor was going to be used by King Alfred of Wessex both in the Winchester arc and especially as a blade killing all the other members of the Order of the Ancients. Another prophecy we could try and interpret was the one about the White and Red War that lasted for 30 years, which we initially thought could be a reference to the 30 years war, but the mention of White and Red and the Sons of the Lion actually led us to believe this to be a reference to the Wars of the Roses, a series of 15th century English civil wars for the control of the throne of England that lasted for 32 years and were fought by the so-called House of Lancaster, represented by a Red Rose, and the House of York, represented by a white rose. Both houses had actually stemmed from the house of Plantagenet, whose armorial insignia featured three lions, hence why white and red war, 30 years, the sons of the licentious lion tear at the earth and sod. We also believe to have interpreted the sentence about deathly Jenny, spinning and lambs. In fact, we think that's a reference to the spinning jenny, a multi-spindle spinning frame that was, as mentioned on Wikipedia, one of the most important developments in the industrialization of textile manufacturing during the Industrial Revolution, which was invented in England and reduced the amount of work needed to produce cloth. The most interesting prophecy though, at least for us hardcore fans, was the 13.0.0.0.01. In fact, that is a reference to the Mayan calendar, to the very first Assassin's Creed game, and to Assassin's Creed 3. In fact, 13.0.0 etc. in the Mayan long count calendar corresponds to Friday, December 21st, 2012, the date that was widely believed to correspond to the end of the world, and also the date where, in lore, in Assassin's Creed 3, Desmond Miles sacrificed himself to avert the second disaster. What's more, 13.0.0 etc. was actually one of the cryptic messages written with his blood by Subject 16 in the Absurgo lab in Assassin's Creed 1. So, these prophecies by the pig can be about different topics like Eivor and Odin themselves, British history, Assassin's Creed references and more. And that mirrors what actually happened in Assassin's Creed Origins where the Ubisoft Montreal devs, the same that were at the helm of Valhalla's development, placed not one but two similar characters. 
In fact, in the main game, in the Kiranaka region, players could find Febe, the Oracle of Apollo, who provided Bayek with 25 prophecies, some regarding himself, some about the Egyptian and Roman history, some even about the first civilization. At the same time, in the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC for the game, the team added a new character with a similar function, called Besa or the Master of the Secret Things, who told Bayek 12 more prophecies, some about the Templars and Assassins from Assassin's Creed 1, some about more modern events like the man's landing on the moon or the creation of the internet, and again some about Bayek himself. So, after all of this, we once again turn to you. Based on how we interpreted some of the prophecies in Valhalla and also keeping in mind what this kind of sentences often refers to, what are your interpretations of Matilda the Seer's predictions? Let us know in the comments below. If you guys are interested in this kind of mystery, we could even make a new video in the future featuring your most interesting interpretations. Also, would you like us to run down an explanation of the prophecies by the two characters from Assassin's Creed Origins 2? That's a mystery that has been already cracked by the community in the past, but if you missed it back then, we can surely have a go at it too. In any case, thanks for watching and for always being so numerous and active in our comments, and we'll see you in our next video.